So when's an electric car not an electric car? When's a hybrid not a hybrid? When's a petrol not a petrol car? The answer it looks like is when it's Elite Motors C10 RE EV Ultra Hybrid. Could Leap Motors be the first manufacturer to get round making petrol electric cars? To me, it looks like they have done. This is what they're bringing out in the near future. Now, I've got to be honest, this made me chuckle. And it'll have the climate intelligence unit and everything electric and all the other um, pro battery electric vehicle pundits scratching their head and going mad electric power without limits the c10 reeve re ev ultra hybrid is a revolutionary medium suv that blurs the lines between traditional and electric vehicles well that's an understatement experience full electric driving without worrying about range the C10 Reeve Ultra Hybrid is equipped with a petrol engine that continuously <laughs> that continuously charges the battery, allowing you to achieve up to 1,150 kilometres on a full charge and a full tank, up to 1,150 kilometres combined range. It's 158 kilowatt, fast charging approximately 18 minutes DC charging time from 30 to 80%. How does the advanced range extender technology Reeve work? It operates primarily as an electric vehicle with the electric motor driving the wheels. When the battery charge gets low, the internal combustion engine ignites to generate electricity, recharging the battery and extending the driving range. This system allows the C10 Reeve Ultra Hybrid to offer the smooth, quiet and responsive driving experience of an electric vehicle while also providing the flexibility of a traditional petrol engine for longer trips. Highlights range up to 1,150 kilometres, 158 kilowatts power, approximately 18 minutes DC charging time, 30 to 80%. One is the C10 battery electric that's up to just the pure electric, up to 480 kilometers and 30 to 80% in 30 minutes. The C10 Reeve Ultra Hybrid, 28.4 kilowatt electric battery and a 1.5 litre petrol engine, up to 170 kilometers on electric and up to 1,150 kilometers with a 1.5 petrol generator. Reasons to choose. Cutting edge innovations, smartphone level infotainment system with software upgrades, first class comfort and serenity, experience first class with flexible space, power adjustable front seats and whisper quiet cabin ambience. Four driving modes, prioritise electric driving or activate the generator to maximise range, ideal for longer journeys. Leap Motors backed by Stellantis, one of the world leading automakers with over 14 brands, including Jeep, Maserati, Alfa Romeo, Opel and Ram. Two variants, the style and design. The style, comfort, dual zone automatic climate control, electrically adjustable front seats, Bluetooth and NFC key, 12 speaker surround audio system, fixed panoramic glass roof with electric sunshade, wireless charging, infotainment, 10.25 inch LCD driver instrument cluster, 14.6 inch central high resolution touchscreen with navigation, Qualcomm Snapdragon chip, Wi Fi and 4G, over the air OTA updates, 360 degree camera with dynamic guidelines, integrated 360 degree dash cam recorder, exterior 18 inch alloy wheels. LED automatic headlights, concealed door handles, 
rain sensing wipers, safety, seven airbags, Leak Pilot L2 ADAS, 12 high position ADAS sensors with 17 advanced driver assist functions, five star AN cap safety rating BEV. The design, comfort in addition to style, silicone leather seats with OCO Tex, heated steering wheel, heated and ventilated front seats, power tailgate, air quality monitor, multicolour interior ambient lights, exterior in addition to style, 20 inch alloy wheels, rear privacy glass, LED rear light bar with lighting animation. Now I'm going to be driving an ordinary C10 next week. I can't ask other people to be honest about EVs if I'm not honest about EVs. You know my feelings on Chinese cars at the moment. I think they're killing the UK motor trade, the legacy autos. Having said that, can I criticise people for buying them if they're cheap? Probably not. So I'm going to see what they're like myself and give my honest appraisal. But in the meantime, it looks like Leap Motors have found the equivalent of taking a cheat sheet into your exams or Volkswagen with diesel gate. It's got a 1.5 engine. I wonder who's going to be the first to come up with a V8 battery electric vehicle. Get my name down for one of them. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.